It's a funny story. Um, at the time, it really wasn't. I was the ECW champion. Uh, I was set free from my OVW obligations, um, meaning they told me, you don't have to live in Louisville anymore. You can go wherever you want. And I was just like, cool. I mean, I might as well just stay here and hang out, you know. I would still go to the OVW shows every night just to watch. And that day, I believe Joey Mercury came up to me and he goes, hey, uh, I'm going to sign a TNA contract. And I was like, really? I was like, oh, good for you. Um, so it turned into this is the last time we're ever going to get to wrestle each other. And I was like, oh, yeah, all right. So I went to Danny Davis and I said, hey, can I work a dark match? And Danny was like, you can do whatever you want, kid. And I was like, great, I'm going to work a dark match. And it spirals out of control into this four-on-four -four tag. And uh, so I pull out my bag, and I'm getting ready. And I tape up, and I'm Xing out my hands. And I'm like, ah, oh, this, this is just going to be fun. It's going to be friends, you know, goofing off, but having a, f you know, having a good time. And uh, Tony Atlas walks in. He's like, hey. And I look up and I'm like, oh, hey, Mr. Atlas. Hi, I'm Phil. Nice to meet you. What are you, what are you doing there? And I'm like, I'm just putting my gear on. You know, I'm going to work a, work a dark match, you know. And he's like, looks like you've got two broken arms. And I just go, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I got no idea where he's going with this. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and it's that awkward, and he just says it again. He's just like, I mean, all that tape, it looks like you got two broken arms. And I just go, well, it's just a thing I do. I tape up so I can draw the X's on my hands because I'm straight edge, and I can see, like, this is just... <laughs> You're not it's not, it's not, I'm not, I'm, it's not registering. I'm not getting through to him. And, uh, and I, I, after I get done explaining it, and he's just like... Well, you know what I think? I think if you don't listen to your coach, you're never going to get called up to the big show. And now I'm just like, <laughs> like I look down in my bag at like the ECW titles there, and I'm just like, <laughs> I said, I, and I just went, okay, I'm all right, sir. Thank you. You know, all right. And he. He, he leaves, and I just go, man, that was fucking weird. But you always hear, you know, like, I, this is the guy I've seen on the MTV show hiding money from himself and having women step on his face with high heels on. So I'm just kind of like, I guess that's just how he operates. <laughs> so we have the match. It's a tremendous piece of business. It's great. It gets over current OVW uh, angles. You know, uh, old favorite Joey Mercury comes back. CM Punk's back, everybody's, you know, like, we do, we do good business, baby faces go up, everybody leaves, everybody's happy. We're having the post-show meeting that they always do late Wednesday nights, and I'm sitting up in the bleachers with all the other guys, and I got the Major Brothers next to me, and I got Joey Mercury next to me, and I'm honestly kind of half paying attention because they're talking about the television show and what they can do better and, like, how they think it went, and they're getting critiqued and blah, blah, blah. So I'm, like, kind of zoning out, and then all of a sudden Tony Atlas... He's like, well, I think most everybody here was nice. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like sitting there just like, that's cool, you know. And he's like, but, you know, one person in particular was an asshole. <laughs> and I'm just like sitting there going, fuck, man, that's brutal. Like, <laughs> he's just calling people out, you know. And I'm just sitting there and he's like, you know, some people listen to what the coaches have to say and remember... You know, and he starts talking about how he could bench press more than Hulk Hogan and how he beat Hulk Hogan for real one time. And I, you know, and I'm just, and he's like, you know, and a lot of you are really good, you know. And he would like go off on these weird tangents. He'd be like, you boy, you remind me of Tito, but some of you are an asshole. <laughs> and then that's when, you know, like Joey Mer Mercury elbows me and I'm like, hmm. And then I look, and then I realize he's just staring right at me. And I'm just like, this is fucking weird. You know, and he does it again. You know, oh, everybody was great to work with, you know, and I'm going to have a good report for everybody except for some asshole. And then I just, I just start looking around, and I realize my phone's buzzing. I realize the Major Brothers are, like, texting on their phones. They're like, oh. And then finally I just stand up, and I go, are you talking to me? 
And he, like, wigs out. He's like, yes, you're an asshole. And I was just like, well, fuck you. <laughs> and I may have said, I, I, I didn't say, do you know who I am? I said, you don't even know who the fuck I am. I said, you don't know his name. He called Spears Mr. Piers. Like, he... <laughs> You know, I was just like, listen, man, like you come down here and you were, I know why you were brought here. You were brought here to tell people not to fucking do drugs and to save your money because that's something you didn't do. I go, and you're going to criticize me. Listen, it's, it's in the past. I've buried the hatchet with Tony Atlas. All right. I don't want this to fucking be dug up or anything like that. This was literally like over 10 years ago and we, we fucking talked and we hugged it out. But at the time I was like, bro, like. I was like, I'm the guy who just made it out of here, surrounded by guys who are trying to make it out of here, and you're attacking me, and I don't know why. And he started talking. He was like, I told you to take the wrist tape off, and you didn't. And I was just like, dude. And he was just like, well, go to hell. You'll never make it to TV. And I was just like, I'm on TV. <laughs> I was like, I don't have to be here. I like, why am I being punished for coming back and trying to help? That was the last time I... Showed up at OVW. <gasps>